What's up guys, I'm here with ABR vs CL, I missed uh, like two turns I think, so let me just restart the battle. CL with Chomp as he just goes nin uh, <laughs> he just goes Feeny on his Protean Ninja. I'm wondering if CL would scout for the gong shot here. ABR is a like, really nice offense team, bulky offense. I know you, you could consider it HO, depending on the Chomp set and the Lando set. Like one of these two is probably Z move. Like Skarmory is a bit annoying to ABR's team, but he, it doesn't necessarily have to be um, Z move guard charm with uh, fire Z move. Wait, wait, wait! That was the wrong program. I misclicked. I just wanted to check if I'm recording, and yes, I am. Nice. Phew. So CL is taking his time. Yeah, I assume ABR doesn't have gong shot, or oh, he predicts CL. Nah, actually, yeah, he doesn't have gunk shot if he doesn't go for it. Gengar, like, the only Gengar I ever see in Sun and Noyo is a uh, Scarf Gengar, but I'm not sure if it's... Like, it could technically be... Some... It seems of Gengar any viable, I have no idea, dude. <laughs> Too bad I didn't get uh, anyone in, in call for this, for this game. Let me actually look at win conditions. Tapu Coco kind of goes in on CL's team. Yeah, that, that's probably Scarf Ganger. Actually, is that Scarf? <laughs> the chat is saying it's Specs. I'm actually bad. Unless this, uh, maybe this Fini doesn't run any book. But I assume it's like Spadef You need to check um, to check Ash Greninja. So yeah, that makes sense. It's Specs Ganger, and he's just wait. That did nothing. You cannot tell me that that's Specs. That's that's not Specs Ganger, what? I don't really get the chat by the thing it's Specs. Cause that did nothing to Landris. <laughs> yeah, that did zero, that's not Specs. He's just offensive Tabu in my opinion. I gotta stop getting influenced by the smog just chat. <laughs> like if that's Specs Ganger, that's like that would be really weird. So I assume this is Scarf Landris. And he's gonna double here on the ABR land because he doesn't want to take helmet. Oh, he just earthquakes. I thought he would double because ABR's landers was so obvious there. What can he even switch in here? If he's locked into earthquakes, he's just in a really bad position. He just gave all his momentum away by letting the landers come in for free. The like, ABR just gets up rocks here. Or if he wants the momentum, he can U-turn. I assume this is rocks. I guess it could be offense. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Never mind, CL is not Scarf. And he catches ABR. ABR is trying to get momentum, but takes an HBIs to the face, and Gengar's back, and then gets a kill now, I guess, with Shadow Ball. Uh, Hooper might take two Shadow Balls. I am not sure what set ABR is because he switched out the Gengar of the land on the lander, so he's not Scarf. Why did he sack his Landris? That was his only ground immunity. ABR clicks off great now like it's his job. <clears throat> oh well. I'm not trying to talk shit, it's not like he had a switch in. Like, Hooper maybe was a switch in a scuffle. No, nah, scuffle is not. I still don't know the Gengar set. I don't understand why ABS switched out the Gengar on. on the Landers earlier. Like, if he predicts the Lander to be Scarf, that means ABR is not Scarf himself. Oh, he just. Oh, he just predicted CL to be Scarf and wanted to get that free switch in the Landris. That worked out at first, but CL was not Scarf, so it didn't work out because his Lando cut. I got hit with an HPR to the face. So, I'm assuming this is either Bullet Punch or CL is just wild. This has to be Bullet Punch. But yeah, that's a bit weird because he has Tabu Lelic with uh, Psychic Terrain. Which would like sometimes mess up his own team strategy. Like he cannot go for bullet punch sometimes if Psychic Turin is up. So I'm not really sure. 
in my opinion. Like, he could have gone to Hooper here. But, like, in the long run, I see ABI winning this anyways. Like, no matter what CL does at this point. Yeah, he goes for the bullet punch, takes helmet. As he's gonna have to take two helmet hits here or give ABR um, the opportunity to fire off an earthquake or something. They actually have. Um, they both have a Landel, they both have a Chom, they both have a Metagross. So three of the same ones. Takes double helmet, doesn't want to risk missing, so just goes for bullet punch. Also, doesn't want to reveal her set, which makes sense. But at this point, doesn't Typo Coco kill Metagross at 67? I mean, Greninja can also just click Dark Pulse. Wait, how, how healthy is the Tapu Fini? Oh, you can go in her own Metagross? Okay. So, I assume ABR's Metagross has Earthquake if he brings it out. Um, I think Earthquake does like 60 to Metagross, to Mega Metagross for Mega Metagross. We shall see. Oh, he, he has Pursuit, okay, that makes sense too. Would he be Pursuit plus Earthquake on the same set? Or oh, Eve Pursuit Hammer, oh, okay. Wait, ABR? Never mind, never mind. ABR won and lost one speed I thought he won both speed -tide. <laughs> Would this be the if this is Z Sandstorm Guard Trump? I guess it's not over yet. I'm gonna look at the like at the score of this uh, series later on. Like, at the end of the game. Um, I don't think ABR has Ice Sponge on his Metagross. Probably has Mash and then either either Zen Headbutt or Bullet Punch or um, Thunder Punch. Um, like if ABR has Ice Sponge and CL goes for. Um, Goes for like Z Sandstorm, I think ABR just wins. Unless he misses. Oh, he, he doesn't go for. I guess he could be Scarfed. Uh, he's probably Scarfed Chub. I don't know why I didn't think about that. ABR tried. Did he try to predict a Drangor there? Going hard, Coco. Um, I don't think it matters what ABR, what ABR did that turn. I think he tried to stun and go to Coco on a Dragon Claw. Nah, he probably was just taking it. I'm overthinking things way too much this game. My duration is a bit off this game. So, um, yeah, maybe I was pretty sure that Seal's locked into Earthquake here. And... Like, we're not seeing any Z moves this game, so. I think this has to be Z-Move Chomon from ABR's side. And if he goes for the Z-Sandstorm here, he should be in a good position. We're just not seeing any... He's live or We're just not seeing any Z-Moves today and I'm predicting every set wrong. What is a Z-Move on ABR's team? I guess he doesn't have to have one. I could be Z-Move Gengar because that might be the reason he switched out the Gengar earlier versus the Landers. Predicting the Landers would be Scarfed. Oh, he just have, doesn't have a Z-move. I'm not sure. Um, the Fini is like really... See, the Fini is probably like Call Mind Offensive. Because it took so much from the Gengar's Shadow Ball. I'm not even sure if it has like a lot of HP investment. It took that Shadow Ball so poor. So, CL is Scarf. I'm wondering if ABR would have life or out of it just to blow this jump away. The 
Back if CL locks himself into Dranklaw Outrage. Metagross just gets a huge hit off. So yeah, Abia pretty much wins this game. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why, but Abia is just like he's just a god. Yeah, this move might have been on Coco, like this chat is saying, but it could also be on Gengar, like Amix, but I'm not sure at all. I'm not trying to make any more wrong predictions. I'm not <laughs> dude. Like sometimes I just get every set prediction wrong. Imagine I would be in CL's position. I would get six old by this man ABR. <laughs> Well, SCL goes into a. Uh, goes into Lele on the Outrage. But did that really accomplish anything? He could have just gone Lele before he went into Chomp, right? Does Scarf Lele actually have a chance to win this game if ABR. Never mind, it's just Okos. Yeah, see, like, I don't really see why CL made that play, like. He just had to bank on his jump not having outrage. Cause yeah, he might have probably left the drink for. Oh, he could have killed ABR's. Um, he could have killed ABR's jump maybe with outrage. I don't know if Drinkler would kill would have killed it. Maybe CL was uh, predicting ABR to switch out. But into what? If he was predicting the Metagross and. The Lele doesn't even kill the Maragos at 70 with its Scarf, I assume. So I don't really understand what Steel was trying to predict there. But, like, no matter what he would have done, it was over anyways. I don't know how much I'm gonna say, how often I'm gonna say this. Steel <laughs> is now a top 4 player, who said that? Did he make the same play again? Just, ah, uh, to get some lefties. Okay, this time his play made some sense because he got three lefties. But Earthquake is gonna blow this away because this feed is like offensive. It might barely lift this, but I think it just gets blown away. Okay, barely lift. Jump also lifts. Earthquake, um, Earthquake gets another kill here, unless CL, like if CL goes jump. Like CL has the reason to keep this Fini. Because it just loses to everything on ABR's team. Man, maybe I just went in 3 0 probably. Because Jump dies the live orb, and now. Doesn't Scarf Trump kill this with Outrage? Okay, never mind. Wait, CL is not even Scarf. Scarf Greninja? What? CL is Scarf! Is he really Scarf Greninja or am I getting trolled by the smog to his shed? I think he is Scarf Greninja. Okay, this guy's on another plateau. I have no words for this card. Let me check. Um, oh yeah, shoutouts to Porsche and Finchinator who commentated on my smog on wall. <laughs> That they like they're li they're liking that I upload these SPL games. Um, I'm sorry if I messed up the narration in this one, but yeah, that's really nice to hear that, and it like obviously motivates me to do to do more of these. Okay, so ABR is on Alpha Runas and CL is on the Everground Big. So the score is two and two now. I'm I'm not sure when Jimmy is playing with Oblivion. Blonde already won his game. I don't know how you pronounce this. Rodri Rodri Blutero, I have no idea, I don't want to butcher his name. Rodri Blutero was partial. It'll be interesting to see. Um like I mainly focus on Sun Moon and Oris OU. Um you guys have probably noticed, but I like some black and white and some DVP games too. I, I just don't know anything about AVG scene every arise, so I'm not recording those. But yeah, I'll catch you guys with the next time. I'm not sure uh with the next game. Smash that like button if you want to see more. And I am signing out. It was fun. It was a bit weird because like solo narration, no one, no one joined me. But it's all good in the hood. Even though I don't know how you, dude. I thought like I thought this game would have been closed, but maybe I just put him in the bag. Just 
just said you're not you're not I'm not giving you any chance today. Okay, bye guys. <laughs>